Yo, what's going on you guys and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. So some of you guys probably heard by now what Elon Musk said about Tesla's relationship with Bitcoin. And if you don't know, basically he's just saying that Tesla will no longer accept Bitcoin for car purchases because of environmental concerns. So in this video, we're going to be going over exactly what he said on Twitter, the future of Bitcoin, and what to do with your cryptocurrency going forward. So if you guys want to see all that, stay tuned, hit the like button, subscribe, and cue that intro. So pretty much out of nowhere on May 12, 2021, Elon Musk tweeted about Tesla and Bitcoin. And let me read exactly what he said to you guys. So what he said in his tweet is Bitcoin. We are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining and transactions, especially coal, which has the worst emissions of any fuel. Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels, and we believe it has a promising future, but this cannot come at the great cost to the environment. Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin and we intend to use it for transactions as soon as mining transitions to a more sustainable energy. We are looking at other cryptocurrencies that use less than 1% of Bitcoin's energy per transaction. So that's a huge statement and we're going to keep referring to this statement that he had on Twitter throughout this entire video. So right off the bat, the first thing that I thought about is what's going to happen to Bitcoin's price and sure enough, it tanks. But if you're a Bitcoin holder or a cryptocurrency holder, I wouldn't be too worried. So in my opinion, this relationship was kind of iffy to start off with. And of course, when Elon Musk announced that Tesla would be taking in Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin exploded and so did Tesla. But other than that, honestly, if I think about it and if you guys really think about it, this is relationship really meant to be. Tesla's goals, their long term, life term goals are those of renewable energy, no emissions, a world where there is nothing like that, no environmental concerns, and we can build a sustainable world. On the other side of the world, we've got Bitcoin that doesn't really cater too much to that. It has its own purpose. So this relationship probably was never meant to be. But with that being said, you can tell that Elon is still very, very bullish on cryptocurrency with just a statement over here. Cryptocurrency is a good idea on many levels and we believe it has a promising future. So if you're a cryptocurrency holder, I would not be worried at all. This is just Bitcoin in relationship to Tesla. So another key point to look at is he says in a statement, Tesla will not be selling any Bitcoin and we intend to use it for transaction as soon as mining transitions to a more sustainable energy. So again, this just to me reiterates that he doesn't think cryptocurrency is bad. In fact, he loves it. And one day, hopefully Tesla and Bitcoin will restore the relationship and once again, accept Bitcoin. So honestly, I don't think that Elon Musk has anything against Bitcoin. In fact, I think he really likes it. Sometimes you got to take things into consideration when you're owning a company and running it. You don't want to just look at things for yourself. You want to look at things for your company. And when these two goals don't really align, it's probably not the best thing for the company. So with that being said, let's kind of just hop into some of the other tweets that Elon Musk tweeted out after this statement. So we're on Elon Musk's Twitter page. And right after that initial tweet where he talks about Tesla and Bitcoin, the next thing that he talked about is what he says is his energy usage trend over the past few months is insane. And he's pretty much just referring to Bitcoin electricity consumption. And you guys can take a look at this graph. You guys can pause the video if you guys want to look. It's also on his Twitter. And then right after that, he tweets, to be clear, I strongly believe in crypto, but it can drive a massive increase in fossil fuel use, especially coal. So again, this just kind of reiterates our theory where he doesn't like Bitcoin because of its environmental impacts. So it's not about the cryptocurrency, it's about the fossil fuels and that type of stuff. And he does believe in cryptocurrency. So the first thing that I did after learning about that is to look for other cryptocurrencies that have less of an environmental impact. Because once again, in his statement, he said less than 1% of Bitcoin's energy per transaction. So of course, the next step is to look at some of the other cryptos that have less energy per transaction. So here's a list of the 15 most sustainable cryptocurrencies. And real quick, guys, I'm not a big cryptocurrency, guys. You guys know that I'm a dividend investor. That's my main calling card. But I will leave a link in the description for this website over here so you guys can check it out yourself. Of course, guys, do your own research. This is just my opinion and this is just a random website I pulled up. So with that being said, let's just go over some of them. So we've got SolarCoin, BitGreen, and Cardano. It's got Stellar over here. But nonetheless, Cardano is a really big one that people are thinking that Tesla is going to accept. 
So we don't really know if they're going to accept more than one cryptocurrency, if they'll accept any other at all, or if they'll just wait until Bitcoin will eventually become more efficient, energy efficient that is. So with that being said, a lot of people are kind of flocking to Cardano. That's a really big one right now. But there's also another one that's been popping up and I'm actually really surprised. So we're going to hop back over to Elon Musk's tweets and see exactly what I'm talking about. So first thing that I did after hearing this news is after doing my research about which cryptos are a lot more sustainable i came across cardano and i think in my personal opinion cardano is a cryptocurrency that's going to be around in the future and then hopefully tesla will be willing to accept them and use them and invest into them in the future so that's what i personally did i picked up a few other altcoins i'm not too bullish on those compared to cardano but there is one more that i saw and i did some research on in elon musk's tweets and that is i don't know if you guys are ready for this it's none other than Dogecoin. So you can see that on May 12th is when Elon Musk released his statement. And the day before he asked everyone, do you want Tesla to accept Doge? So the day after he's saying that he doesn't want to take Bitcoin, but maybe he thought about this before. And that's why he's asking everyone, do you want to accept Doge? And of course, the overwhelming response to that is yes, at 78.2%, which is pretty amusing. In my opinion, I'm not that bullish on Doge, but after hearing that, this is definitely a good catalyst for the Doge community. You know, I'm rooting for y'all. I actually have a little bit Doge, but nothing too crazy. But with that being said, I, I just thought it was really interesting to see on Elon Musk's tweets. But if you guys thought I was done there, it gets even more crazier. Later on, he goes to say and tweet out, working with Doge devs to improve system transaction efficiency potentially promising and that's just huge for the entire doge community honestly elon musk and doge that would be a great collab and who knows this is just my research these are all tweets you know at this day and age twitter can be really used as a tool and honestly give you great insight but who knows again guys this is just twitter you guys know that elon musk likes to tweet out a lot of stuff crazy stuff but who knows at the end of the day he's a multi-millionaire the richest person in the world but I'm not going to say anything. This is up to you guys to decide. This is just something I came across on his Twitter. Who knows if they'll accept Doge. Who knows if they won't accept anything until Bitcoin becomes more energy efficient. Or if they'll accept some of the other coins like Cardano. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think. So maybe you're not into some of the other altcoins. Or you don't think that Tesla is going to accept anything other than Bitcoin after they fix their environmental issues. So let's talk a little bit about Bitcoin. So honestly, in my opinion, I still think that Bitcoin is going to be here in the future. I don't think it's going anywhere as a hedge against inflation. Other institutional buyers are there and it's just going to explode in price, in my opinion, at least. And it's the leading factor of all other cryptocurrencies. So this could potentially be a great buying opportunity in terms of the pricing. So after the tweet, Bitcoin dropped about $10,000 and then in the all time high dropped about $20,000. So this could be a great buy in. Personally, I own about a tenth of the Bitcoin. I know that's not a lot, but it is a big part of my overall portfolio. Initially, I wanted to to be about two to five percent cryptocurrency. That is of my overall portfolio, but Bitcoin just kept growing and growing, and eventually became almost a sixth of my overall portfolio. So that's how big I am on Bitcoin. I personally believe in it. I think it's going to be here in the future. I think it is the future as a hedge against inflation. And I just love it. And I do think eventually that Tesla is going to pick it up again. I know it's not really a match made in heaven if you compare Bitcoin's environmental impacts with Tesla's mission. But at the end of the day, I do think that these two entities can coexist at one point in the future. So that's pretty much it for my reaction to this whole situation with Tesla, Bitcoin, and Elon Musk. Honestly, in my opinion, I think it's a little bit of an overreaction. I think Bitcoin is here to stay. And I do think eventually Tesla and other institutions will pick up Bitcoin in the future. And I do also think that Bitcoin is going to become a little bit more environmentally sustainable than it is currently. So who knows? We'll have to see. But this is just my opinion. I did pick up some of the other altcoins just to let you guys know. So... It's totally up to you guys to pick it up. I'm not saying you guys have to. I'm not saying you guys should. Just based on my own research, I decided to pick it up just in case it did explode and go up in price. So with that being said, guys, let me know if you guys are investing into any other altcoins. 
Let me know in the comments below if you guys are investing more into Bitcoin, you guys are going all in on this buying opportunity, and what you guys think about the situation. Do you guys think that Elon Musk is going to pick up Bitcoin again for Tesla, or do you guys think this is the end of the relationship? Let me know in the comments down below. I appreciate you guys for listening, and guys, take it easy, and guys, remember, everybody eats.